Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy DT3, man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media notification game. God Squad. It's what it is, man. I did a poll on my community page a few days ago about why do people dislike or hate the LDBC so much. And, you know, I, I and a lot of people gave me their reasons, and a lot most people wish that I could have put all the above because I just put different situations and most people was like why you just didn't put all the above it was just because i didn't have a slot they didn't give me an extra slot to put that in because i was thinking it believe me but you got this guy mr sheldon who any video or whatever I, or post that i put on my page he will leave at least three comments a minimum of three comments and i just felt the need to address this person in particular and to also address what he what he said on my post also in particular and he always saying that you know like he says right here you know he's never seen a bunch of crybabies like this before the ldbc lives rid free in your heads even got so-called black people using white supremacist terms shaking my damn head y'all dudes lame as hell for this one don't nobody gotta like the ldbc don't nobody gotta like the nbbc period if I got a bunch of people that don't like me, then that's just a bunch of people that don't like me like you, Mr. Sheldon. You know, I'm not mad. I'm not going to be mad if they put up a poll saying, what do you not like about the NBBC? I'm not going to be like, that shit lame, that shit weak. That's bitch shit that y'all be doing, bro. Every time somebody say something about the LDBC... You LDBC fans and Wilder fans, y'all get in y'all feelings. Like, can't nobody say nothing about you niggas. Like, y'all are above reproach. Like, can't nobody say nothing about y'all. If somebody say something about y'all, y'all, it's like talking about the CIA or some shit. You niggas ain't the feds. Y'all just regular ass niggas like me on YouTube. Y'all ain't above reproach. Y'all are not above the DT3 rule. Just like if y'all got something to say about me and what the fuck I do. I don't give a fuck. I'm not mad. I'm not finna be like, oh, y'all some bitch ass niggas talking about me and taking time out to talk about me. I don't care. I'm not looking in it like that. But you LDBC cats be looking in it like, oh, see, see, he, we, he ain't got to talk about us. That's because y'all race baiters. Y'all all race baiters. Y'all do not accept the truth. Y'all do not call it spade a spade. Straight up. Anybody that has a different opinion in you and is a, a, or brings a factual opinion, it doesn't have to be just different. Different could mean could be right or wrong. But anybody that brings a factual opinion against whatever narrative you push it, you block them, you disrespect them, you talk down to them. That's bitch shit. A lot of my subscribers, I have over four thousand subscribers bro and out them four thousand four thousand of my subscribers have said that they have given their difference in opinion to these channels and all they do is get blocked or they get disrespected but you ldbc cats come to my channel y'all don't go to bruce fucking vein channel y'all don't go to mr two hands up bah, bah, channel y'all don't go to his shit and talk shit to him, cause y'all can't talk shit to motherfuckers that's showing you what the fuck niggas is doing. You have no argument, but you can argue with the guy that's sitting in his car and making video. You can argue that motherfucker all day long, but you ain't finna argue to catch like Bruce Vein, Counterpunch, Boxing News, uh, Mister Two Hands Up. Bah, bah. You're not finna go to them cats and debate them because they're actually showing you or they're actually playing back. What's been said and what's bullshit and what's not bullshit. So you can't argue them cats. Because I don't see y'all in their comment section. I don't see you in that comment section, Mr. Sheldon. Go to Bruce fucking veins, bro. Because everything that I'm telling you, Bruce is showing you. Counter Punch Boxing News is showing you. Mr. Two Hands Up, bah, bah, he's showing you. So if my word ain't good enough, go look at the motherfuckers that's showing you. Since since people's word ain't enough. Straight up. But all this saying that the LDBC live in our heads and shit, no the fuck they don't. No, they don't. They are the yin to my yang. 
They are doing the exact opposite of what the fuck I'm doing. Unbiased, calling shit a spade a spade, holding every fighter, every manager, every um, promoter, every fan, every YouTuber accountable for the bullshit. They not doing that. They only hold you accountable when it goes against whatever narrative they push. I'm not pushing a particular narrative. I'm just being straight. I'm being honest. I'm being real. Them niggas is pushing narrative. We only going to promote Wilder. We only going to push Errol Spence or black fighters or PBC fighters. If you a black fighter and you on Matchroom or you with the zone, you a coon. We going to throw them under the bus and we got this big following and we got this big following of people that they going to they going to rock with us and they going to they going to basically believe whatever we tell them. The LDBC will say some of the dumbest shit and people will believe it. You know why? Because most of the LDBC are fans, if not all the LDBC are fans of Wilder. Wilder bullshit like a motherfucker. They believe everything Wilder say. You are a reflection of who you hang around. So if people like Wilder is the type of people that you are looking at all the time, the type of people that you are impressed by, that you are fascinated with, you're, it's only natural for you to take on their behavior or their characteristics. It's only natural. So they basically take it on the characteristics of the guy that they idolize so much. And then when they're being held accountable, the first thing they do when you come with your facts, you a bitch ass nigga, you ain't shit, fuck you, you a dumb ass nigga, you don't know shit about boxing, blah, 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 blah. But when you guys come to my channel and y'all say the disrespectful shit that y'all say, I don't get it, y'all like that. I don't do that. But y'all want me to support people that do that. Y'all want me to support people that disrespect people for, for having just a different opinion. Or having they facts right and knowing this shit, in a sense, maybe better than you or just as good as you. And because they can actually debate you and it'd be a good debate, you don't want to do that. You, you, you ain't trying to do that. It's too much like right. And all y'all that said BTFB punked me and shit. I, I've been real, I saw that twice on this community. This community page right here. I don't know what about that video made y'all feel that he punked me or whatever the fuck. He beat me in a debate. He knew a situation about the Anthony Joshua Wilder shit better than me. And I have no shame in admitting that. But all this he punked me and all that, bro, miss me with that shit. Miss me with that. Only reason why I ain't fucking with none of the LDBC cats and getting on BFTB, going to his streams and all that, because I ain't finna be disrespecting. You ain't finna keep calling me bitch ass niggas and all that shit. You, nah, I ain't finna do all that. I ain't finna do all that. Because that nigga's not finna come all the way to California. And I ain't got the money to go all the way to Baltimore and look for this nigga and see this thing. Straight up. So I'm not finna have a verbal judo contest over YouTube when neither one of us is finna make it make a physical appearance with each other because if we finna talk shit and we see each other physically it's gonna be a fight bro it's gonna be a fight and I don't want this is what I think with you LDBC cats and especially some of you uh, YouTubers don't talk shit on my YouTube and when you see me in person Say, oh, no, that's just YouTube. I'm just talking my shit. No, nigga. Watch how you talk your shit on my YouTube channel. Watch it. Whatever you say, make sure you man enough to stand by that shit. Because a lot of shit y'all say be hella disrespectful. It's okay to disagree. But it ain't okay to disrespect. Because I'm not disrespecting you, Mr. Sheldon. Because you constantly come to my channel disrespecting because I say something against Wilder. And you got to disrespect. Miss me with that shit. I don't disrespect you. Don't disrespect me. Period. I don't disrespect the LDBC. I just call it out spade to spade. Period. Alright. I don't fuck with that shit. I'm an honest person. So. Then this guy says, 
So tell the white boxing fans and the Latino boxing fans not to support they own. Shaking my damn head. A new low for you. Keep contradicting yourself. I never said white fighters don't support white fighters. I never said Latino fans don't support Latino fans. But let me tell you something right here. And correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, when white boxing fans say they're going for a white boxer, bro, it ain't you. you they're not obviously being racist, bro. Anytime I see a white guy saying they finna pick Lomachenko, it, they're not saying oh, I'm picking Lomachenko because he white. They're not saying that. It's been a few times, and I know some of y'all gonna say Mexican fighters will say, "Well, he's Mexican, and and oh, I'm gonna go with him because he's Mexican." Even Bruce fucking Vane. Made videos about that. But I'm a counterpunch that shit. Not to steal your shit, counterpunch. But I'm finna counterpunch that real quick. Mexican fighters to me. To me. And Mexicans to me. They go about that different. When they saying, I'm just going for the Mexican guy. They're not. They, it's not looking to me as racism or racist. They, they're going on, hey, man, he's a Mexican. This, I got to support my people. And they'll tell you, he's a Mexican guy, I'm Mexican. You know, Mexican pride is real. I got to support my Mexican people. Period. And guess what? If the Mexican guy gets his ass beat, right? And you go talk to the Mexican dude about it, right? You can have a unbiased conversation. He will tell you. I'm telling you because I've done it. I'm not telling you because I'm speculating. I'm telling you because I've done it with Mexicans. Okay. I've seen Mexicans just go for the Mexican fighter because he's Mexican. And then I've come back that Monday after the fight and we'll talk about it. And it'll be a non-biased conversation. He'll tell me where the Mexican fighter fucked up at and where he could have did better. And we actually having a real boxing conversation. I can't do that with you LDBC bitches. Because y'all will make every excuse like y'all his girlfriend. Why he or she won or lost or how they got robbed all that. When I talk to Mexicans bro about boxing. They don't do that shit. The one thing they have in common with the LDBC. Is that they will just go for Mexican fighters because they're Mexican. But the LDBC is racist with that shit. And I'm black. And y'all will go for the guy just because he's black. And he could do it. He could have a poor performance. And I could tell you he had a poor performance. And y'all say you coon it. That don't mean I don't like the guy. If he did bad, he did bad. If Terrence Crawford do bad, he did bad. Y'all gonna say I'm cooning in? If... If Anthony Yard go to Russia and looks terrible, I'm going to say Anthony Yard looks terrible. And I'm a little biased about Anthony Yard. But if he looks terrible, I'm going to tell you Anthony Yard look like shit. It might hurt me to say it, but I'm going to still say it because it's the truth. That's the difference between me, the NBBC, and y'all, the LDBC. Can't tell y'all shit about y'all favorite fighter. Y'all getting y'all feelings. And want to start throwing insults and being disrespectful and shit. Everybody that I that I talk to on my channel can handle the truth but you LDBC niggas. And you Wilder fans. I tell you something true about Wilder. The first thing you do, well, what about Joshua? Joshua don't got shit to do with the dumb shit Wilder do, bro. Wilder do dumb show. So you basically saying everything Wilder doing is because of Joshua. Please don't say yes. Don't say yes. Cause the, don't. I'm going to grill your ass. So every all the shit Wilder doing is because of Joshua. All the shit Wilder saying is because of Joshua. The guy that don't even have a belt no more. Anyway. Never been a contradiction of nothing. Fuck you, bruh. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ain't nobody checking for you, man. Why do you weirdos carry on this crusade? Because the LDBC is racist and they race baiters, bro. They not good for boxing, bro. They're cancer. Just like, just like what Bruce fucking Vane said, all these other races. And I told Bruce, it's a cultural thing. It's a racial, it's a, it's a foreign thing. Excuse me. 
Like, if you get African fighters, no matter where they're from in Africa, if they know you from Africa and you're African, you're going to go for the African. If you if you are from India and you see an Indian fighter from India, the Indian guy is going to go with the dude from India. Naturally. You see a Puerto Rican fighter, you Puerto Rican, you naturally going to go for the guy that's Puerto Rican. Facts. So it's not nothing wrong with you being the black fighter and you with you being a black person and you just going for the black fighter because they black. Ain't nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is when the black fighter do dumb shit and you make excuses for the black fighter like you his girlfriend. And you can't just say, yeah, that was dumb. That ain't cool. This is bad for boxing. When is the LDBC going to be for boxing and not just for a particular genre of fighters? I don't see no uh, Mexican LDBC. I don't see no white LDBC. I don't see a culture of people like the LDBC just for white people or just for Mexicans or just for um, Indians or Russians. I don't see that shit. The way the LDBC is doing that shit. No. You guys are biased and y'all hella racist and y'all can't handle the truth when it comes to y'all. Ain't nobody putting no light on it. That's black aside from me and Bruce Vane, Mr. Two Hands Up. Pop, pop. That's it. Everybody else that gets on the LDBC is nor normally another race. And I'm telling you as a black man, the shit that the LDBC do when it comes to black fighters, it be bullshit. It's okay to support the black community. It's okay to support black fighters. It is not okay to not hold them accountable as adults and professional athletes. That's where y'all wrong. That's where I come in. That's where the NBC is better than y'all. Y'all can have all the numbers. Y'all can have the quantity all day long, but I got the quality. Y'all can have the quantity, but I got the quality. It's just what it is. So, fuck you, Mr. Sheldon. And you can say fuck me too. I give a fuck. Because you constantly come into my page leaving up to about six fucking comments on videos that you that has something to do with Wilder. And when I say shit about Wilder or the LDBC, you got something to say. But when I'm saying something about other shit in boxing, like brain damage... Where the fuck you niggas at? Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found when I'm talking about the actual sport of boxing and other boxing or other avenues in boxing or even when I'm preparing for a fight, training for a fight, none of that shit. Y'all ain't got shit to say. Except, nope, take that back. When I put a video up of me training for a fight, all oh, y'all want to talk about how y'all going to whoop me, y'all can do this, and I ain't this, and I ain't that, and ain't near one of you niggas ain't finna spar. Y'all lining up to talk shit, to criticize, but ain't near one of you niggas lining up to spar. I'm at Tap Out Fitness, Alameda, California, bro. Google that shit, bro. You want to see me, bro? Come see me. We spar every Friday at 7 p.m., bro. If you in town, come see me. I ain't got to hide. I'm at Tap Out Fitness Alameda in Alameda, California. You on the spar, come see me on Friday nights, 7 p.m. Tap Out Fitness. You can come get this work. And trust and believe, I'm going to start going live at 7 p.m. Where you niggas at? I'm tired of you, Mr. Sheldon. Come with some real shit, bro. Cut this biased bullshit out, bro. Stop trying to find little avenues and little shit to pick at, bro. Cut that shit out. Cut it out. Fuck the LDBC. Fuck Wilder fanboys. Fuck all this biased boxing, bro. NBBC. Non-biased boxing community, bro. And or crew. Straight up. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I hit y'all with some hot shit. Follow me on Instagram at DT underscore Boone. 
Follow me on Twitter at DeepBoyWSO. Man, you already know who it is. It's your boy, DT3. New Media Notification Gang. God Squad. It's what it is, mate. It's the Gypsy Queen, Charles Fury. 100.